Hey everybody, Ann here, and I am at Grismer right now. Um, I left, well I was in Brookville, and now I made it to my favorite auto, sh hobby, shop, whatever, garage you want to call it. Um, so they're going to get me in sometime today. I didn't sleep very well last night. Uh, but whatever the guy did that kind of helped me last night, um, I mean, he saw when I was pulling up and there was, like, smoke pouring out of the engine. So, I mean, instinctively, he just said, pop the hood. And I did, and I started crying. I so hope this isn't going to be a lot of money. But he helped me. And, um, <laughs> we kind of MacGyvered some stuff together. Um, there was one hose that was too long and it had formed a kink and so he cut off the top in the, in the, at the bottom of the kink was a crack so I had some silicone and we, we put that on it and we wrapped it with red duct tape and um, then he, he put the hose back on and um, it was shortened so the kink was still naturally there a little bit but not as much and there was something, it was making a terrible slapping sound. And um, there was a piece of, I don't even know what it was, but it was kind of dangling and it was, it had come undone from the bolts and it was slapping against another, it looked like the alternator, I'm not sure. Making a bunch of noise. So we had zip ties, I had zip ties and God, I love zip ties. And he um, kind of hoisted it up and um, so it's not making that clinking sound and underneath the vehicle there was a um, what do you want to call it a another big hose that had formed in well um, I'd call it an aneurysm it's, it's like an out pouching because it was the hose was coming in top contact with some metal or something so took more red duct tape and shored that up I hope you guys can hear me because I had the windows open so, where I was in Brookdale, there was literally no shop that could take me. I mean, it's a small little town, and they're like, no, I'm, we're booked for days. You can, you know, leave it here for a few days, and I'll get to it eventually. I'm like, no. So, I drove all the way down to Bellbrook um, at the shop that I trust, and um, I'm sitting here right now. So, and here's the thing. It took me, I would say, about an hour. Because I was going slow and I took back roads. I mean, if you do a Google search, Bookville, Ohio, to Bellbrook, Ohio, you know how far I went. And the good thing is, is that um, it the temperature gaze didn't get past the N in normal. So the temperature is staying down. And um, I've noticed, well, the first symptom that I noticed was it was gushing um, coolant out the driver's side underneath the running board. Um, and so one guy said he thinks that's the heater element in for the back and maybe just to bypass it because I don't heat the back anyhow when the car's going. So I'm here waiting to be seen and trying not to try not to cry. I had to call my work and they were able to get somebody else to do the stuff that I needed to do today. I, I picked one person. She's kind of the catch-all person. And I explained to her I live and work out of my van. I don't know why, but I had a, an instant tinge of shame. And I don't know why. Because I'm very proud of what I've done. But I know how other people think. And she was so kind to me. So she's being understanding and helping me too. <coughs> She's just one of the many supervisors I have. So I've told the people in the auto shop too that, uh, you know, I live and work out of my van. It's very important that I get this going. I'm so sorry, and, and I do not cry pretty. See, I shouldn't, I shouldn't show this. Because it's disturbing. <laughs> so I'm just going to sit here and wait. And hopefully it won't be too much because... I don't have it. I just don't have it. So, I will talk to you guys later. I know you didn't enjoy this video, so 
but I'm still going to say thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you guys later. Um, the people that helped me last night, uh, it was actually a couple. The guy was doing all the work. Um, their names were Donnie and Christine. Thank you. If there's any way you might possibly be watching this or find a way to watch it, I somehow doubt it because I know you've got your problems of your own. These people were having trouble getting from Ohio to Colorado because um, they were leaving Ohio. And um, they just stopped and helped me and, you know, they were out of the kindness of their heart. So Donnie and Christine, God, thank you so much. I mean, just sitting there talking to you guys just made me feel better. And the fact that your husband, Christine, spent so much time helping this old broad means an awful lot. You have no idea if there's anything I can do in the future. You know, your husband said something about pay it forward. Well, I'm going to. So I, I didn't want this video to go by without thanking the people that helped me last night. Alrighty, this is it. Talk to you later.